Well, hey, y'all. This is Crazy Nurse Granny here. We're Crazy Nose Crazy. How y'all doing out there in YouTube world? It's a crazy one. Okay, now, today I'm going to talk about characteristics of a cult leader and also how to tell if you're being persuaded by someone who has cult-like behavior. Okay? Now, number one. Cult leaders are very charismatic, okay? You know, you've met those people in your life. You might be out in a social setting and you see someone and you're just drawn to them by their behavior or their attitude or just the way that they are living life. And you're attracted to them like a magnet. A lot of politicians are that way. Okay, then we have number two. Cult leaders have black and white views. Now, what that means is everything is either black or white. There's no in-between. There's no gray area, okay? So that means if somebody tells you something and you just throw a question out to them about what they're talking about and they come back at you and the other people that follow them come at you for even asking the question, then that means they don't allow any area for grayness. So things are either black or white. There's never any in between. Okay, now number three. They are always surrounded by a lot of people called yes people. And what that means is there's a lot of people around them that are always giving them praise and telling them yes, 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 and always telling them how wonderful they are and how much they love them, and they just want to do anything they can to please this person. And if you see someone surrounded by a lot of people that are always praising that person, you might have somebody with some characteristics of a cult leader. Then we have, they are very unapologetically delusional which means that the things that they believe they believe them with complete conviction and they're not going to apologize for what they believe even if they are faced with facts that what they are saying is not the truth and they're not going to apologize for it number five they are very manipulative, which means they are able to get you to do things and behave in a way that they want you to act and behave without directly telling you what to do. They do it by suggestion. They do it by letting you know what they do approve and don't approve of. They don't have to come right out and tell you you're to do it this way. They just demonstrate to you what they want you to do through their speeches and their sermons. Okay, and then they like to distort the truth and facts. And the way they do that, let's say there is a situation where one person has their facts and another person has their facts, and they will take the parts of the story that complement them and show that they are in the right and what they're saying is true. And they will section out what makes them look good and positive, and they will just completely not make any attention to any of the other facts. So they distort the truth by giving you limited facts to make them feel good about themselves. And number seven is they usually always have a narcissistic personality, which means everything they do is developed by what their needs are and what they want from you and what they want from the world and what kind of response that they want to get from what they're doing. And they truly do not care 
about the feelings of others. But as long as you feed them with compliments and tell them how wonderful they are and you follow their agenda, they will be very happy with you and they will treat you with kindness to a certain degree just to get their needs met. But you're actually not receiving anything in return. Okay, and then we have, you have five signs that someone is possibly in the line of a cult leader behavior. Number one, they have the rights to you, which means that you belong to them. And as long as you behave the way we want you to behave, then you're okay. But if you step out of line, you might get into some trouble. You know what I mean? You might get called out. Then you have the leader makes your choices for you. And they do that by suggesting to you what they want you to do subliminally. Now, followers of a cult leader, number three, will want to clone the cult leader. That means, like, let's say they wear certain type of clothes or they like a certain color, or they just like certain things. Like, for instance, they might produce merchandise or something with their name on it, and people might want to buy it because they want to clone and become like the leader. So they will do anything they can to get approval and recognition and resemble the person that they admire. And number five, they give money to the leader. And even if they don't have it sometimes, because they feel like that giving to the leader will get them a reward. It will get them attention. It will get them noticed. It will get everyone to look at them and think, wow, aren't they great? They gave of themselves to our mighty leader. Even if the leader has no need for the money. And the most important thing and the last one is, is that if you ever question the leader, that's when you're going to get in trouble. Because see, if you have a cult leader... And let's say they're talking about finances, and you ask them, well, what are you going to use some money for? What will happen? The cult leader will ream you. They will tell you that you are not following the group, that if you were a true follower, you would not question me. You would just go along with the crowd, and then, then the crowd's going to condemn you also, along with all of these things. So there are a lot of similarities out there to cult leaders just in group situations. And yes, there are some leaders. Now, whether they're good leaders or bad leaders is what you need to decide. But the most important thing is you need to ask yourself, what is it? about this person in this situation that makes me want to follow the crowd. Now, I hope y'all have a lovely day out there in the YouTube world. Y'all be sweet. Crazy Nurse Granny signing off. Love y'all. Bye.